Hi there. In this video, we're going to explore Replicate. Replicate has thousands of AI models in many categories. Audio generation, image restoration, image editing, image to text, text to image, language models like ChatGPT, uh, text to image like stable diffusion, video generation models. Uh, in this video, we're going to learn how to integrate our bubble app with uh, Replicate, uh, how to make an API call, how to get a generation, how to get a generation back, step by step at everything. Before we start, it takes hours to make videos like this. I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button. Thanks. Let's get started. All right. So we're on replicate.com slash explore. You can sign up. That's fine. Uh, the place we want to go to is API tokens. All right. So this is our API key. Uh, we can reset it. Uh, this is our new API key. And here is the documentation itself. So let me just open that tab. So we're looking for HTTP API all the way at the bottom, okay? Now this is where we're gonna have all our API calls and we're gonna use Bubbles API connector to connect with it. So let's open Bubbles API connector, plugin API connector. We're gonna just replicate tutorial and let's look at authentication. So in this case, authentication, it says all API requests must be authenticated with a token, include this header with all requests, authorization token like this. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. We're gonna authorization, private key and header, authorization, and not authorization here, just token and R8, everything here. Okay, so that's our simple authentication framework done. My usual favorite, instead of going straight for creating a prediction, we're gonna, my usual favorite is to just get something, just get a model or get a list of trainings, get something easy. So let's just call get list of predictions. Where is it? List model versions, get a prediction. Uh, there was a get list of predictions as well. List predictions, okay. List predictions. So this is a simple get API call. This is the endpoint get. So we're just gonna go here, here, get, get predictions. Let's see if this works. Okay, so now we have all the various predictions that we've run. You may not get any. Uh, I've been playing around replicates uh, API or like front end dashboard, let's see. Uh, Let's pick, take a look at a text model to begin with. It's easy. Uh, stability AI is one is fine. Okay. How do you make Ratatouille? Max tokens 500 and some various parameters. Click submit. And that's, you start with an eggplant. Uh, yeah, add tomatoes, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. okay. So, so if, if I, that's, this is the same account. I'm signed in, I'm using the same account. So it's the same result being returned. So if I click get, predictions again, it'll be like the recent one will be how do you make credit we and here's the output in various text forms as well. Okay, so now we've gotten a prediction. The next step would be to look at how to create a prediction. Okay, so let's take a go back, create a prediction. This is when we are calling replicate to run our model for us. Okay, so it's a post API call. This is the endpoint, pretty straightforward. Uh, there is some trick here in the request body itself, but we'll get to it one step at a time. So let's copy this, add another API, uh, add another call, create a prediction text post applicant predictions. Now this in itself won't work because like we didn't pass a JSON body. Now what do we what should we pass? So now example request body itself. Okay, we need to pass the version. What is the version? The version is the unique identifier of the model itself. Okay. So here that's the version of the unique identifier of the model itself. So let's grab this here and okay the version needs to be this long piece of string. Uh, where do I copy it? I have got it in the URL, but okay. So I think, okay. That's, that looks too long. Okay, yeah, that is long. Okay. So that's the version. Now, input. Now, this is where there is the variation. Now, I'm going to uh, show a trick where how I basically uh, 
how you can use any model in replicate because each model has a different input so the examples are here the api like reference is pretty good uh, if you look at API, HTTP, it gives some reference sometimes, uh, but the input, that's where uh, it can get a bit tricky because that varies per model. So if you look at models here, we've got like an audio generation model or we've got an image editing, literally an image editing model. If I uh, like talk to this model, I'm like, okay, turn this image into a cyborg this is the output image. Now the input for this model is very different. It's image, prompt, negative prompt, outputs. All this is quite different. And the input for this text model, where it's like, okay, it's just, how do you make that today? How do you make uh, curry? Uh, submit, and it's gonna be like, okay, you curry, different vegetables, yada, 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 yada. So the inputs are very different. However, the endpoint is the same create a prediction, post prediction, example request party, the endpoint is the same. So the secret sauce is in, the difference is in here, these square brackets and input. So now let me show you the trick. So if I run this as well from the web UI dashboard, I'll, I've just ran it. It's gonna take, I think it takes a few seconds to run, uh, but I've now run in my predictions. What, what did I recently run? I ran, how do you make curry? And I also ran how well, this turned this person into a stripe, this turned the statue into a cyborg. Now I've got two. So if I run my get prediction API call again, take a look at this. So if I run my get prediction API call, it's like turn him into a cyborg. And the previous one is how do you make curry? Okay, now look here. Because uh, through the get prediction API call, I got my input JSON. Okay. So it, the, the input JSON I need to pass in my post, uh, create a prediction post, I have it in my get prediction already. So I can use this. So if I'm using, uh, let me show. So input, let's just copy this here and text uh, stability AI. So the input JSON can be like this. So I just copy paste it, okay. Now, all we want to do, if we want to tune other parameters, that's fine as well. But let's just make it, let's just make this one dynamic. Initialize the call and that's it. So we've sent a request to Stability AI through the API to uh, generate a piece of text with our prompt, how do you make curry? Uh, this is the ID uh, of the prediction ID and we need this. So I'm gonna copy it here and if we need to get the prediction in a bit. So I'm gonna add another API call, get a prediction. And if I, let me just leave that lying around. So if I go back to my get a prediction, that's the API, API call we're looking for. So it's pretty straightforward, get type, uh, this is the endpoint, and in the URL itself, we pass the prediction ID. So let's just go here, let's copy this and square brackets, square brackets. Now I've got my prediction ID here. So this is this was my prediction ID for the get a curry request that I had just done. So I think, yeah, this should be good. Initialize call, here we have it. And how do you make curry? And it's like, you can use any type of curry powder or curry paste for making your own homemade curry from scratch. Yeah, works. Okay, so if I change the prompt, how do you make, uh, what's it called, pasta or uh, pasta, uh, veg vegetable pasta, and it's gonna like, okay. So that's the request sent to replicate. We're gonna copy the ID. And if I change this ID, initialize the call. So this is my, uh, how do you make vegetable pasta? I'm not sure what kind of vegetables are here. I could look at recipes. <laughs> okay, so it's being smart. Okay, so this is uh, a chat GPT equivalent sort of by Stability AI, the founders of uh, the organization behind Stable Diffusion. Uh, pretty good. So now just let's try and work through this example in the other image style model. Uh, again, we've already sent an, a request a while ago. So we can list our, we can do our get prediction. In fact, 
explore if i no not explore if i go in my dashboard i will see my recent uh api calls i will see what i've done with the ids as well so where was it so instruct picks to picks that was the one yeah that was the one where i went through the web and it says so here web succeeded eight seconds three minutes ago that's my prediction id okay so i can copy this prediction id and so if like so that's the predict get a prediction so again you're gonna have to be careful about which model because the input output JSONs change uh, we need the get a create a prediction for stability AI different create a prediction for image to image pix model it depends exactly on the model it has the API call in the API connector we initialize has to be very specifically tied to the get API call as well so if I add another call get uh, get uh, pix to pix cyborg uh, it's oh that's the ID uh, sorry, one second. This one here, and the prediction ID here. That's it. So now the output here is quite different. So it is like the input was different, and the output it went to a different model, a different computer, a different kind of machine learning model to generate. The output is this URL. So in the previous instance, the output was a piece of text. Here it's an image, so it's like here's the URL itself. So if you open this URL, we'll see that cyborg here. Okay. Uh, now I can click save. So it, it, we can replicate this exact same process for any model. I've just got thousands of models. Okay. So let's pick a standard kind of stable diffusion image generation. An astronaut riding a horse on Mars, HD dramatic lighting. So dimensions, like you can play around with this web UI quite a bit, change, tune some parameters. If I click submit here, and it's going to just run the prediction and it's going to return the result. Okay. Quite different, quite interesting. An astronaut riding a horse on let's just change it or horse on earth let's see what it comes up with yeah well i'm not sure if it looks like earth but well, at least the background looks and he's got a jeans instead of the whole astronaut thing anyways so same process we're gonna go get a list of predictions where is it get predictions uh in fact we can go with a single way as well so if i instead of the list of prediction method we can also go in our dashboard we've got the prediction id here's the prediction id here's the example we're like we're happy with this type of result get prediction here so we can easily just duplicate our previous get api call duplicate so this was get stable diffusion the prediction id changes and here we are okay so in this we've got our kind of output url and we've got the input json as well very important so that input json is what we need in fact including the version so including the version so save that we're gonna open create a prediction where is that create a prediction we're gonna duplicate create a prediction create a prediction copy okay uh Oops, where go? Expand, create a prediction, image, stable diffusion, and we're gonna pass it that uh, JSON that we had from our get prediction. Much, much straightforward. Uh, we can, of course, parameterize all these, but the, the prompt is the main one. So it's like prompt value. And here, an astronaut riding a horse on. Let's try and do something. Ooh, what about the sun? On the sun. Let's see what happens. So we're going to initialize this API call. Now this job has been passed. So we've got the ID here. Save. And if uh, if I well, we've got the get stable diffusion already. So it's like here. And this may not have, it may not be ready yet. Let's see, is it ready yet or no? Yeah, it's ready already. That was fast. Wow, that's, 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 that's nice. That's that nice. nice. Okay, so we've explored how, we've explored kind of like three different models. 
different inputs, different outputs, different API calls, how to authenticate. Uh, of course, there's a whole world out there. Uh, there's like, uh, what about like webhooks to kind of get data back? Because image uh, video generation models can take a lot of time. Uh, I've got a separate video on the video generation model and webhooks. And uh, if, if you have more questions around this, drop a comment below. Uh, always happy to answer and make another video as well. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you want to make an app or an app idea like this and you're a bit confused, and we, we are happy to build it for you. So get in touch. Thanks. Bye.